Hello everyone and welcome back. This is part two, actually video two of my step-by-step uh, -step tutorial. I don't know if you watched my first video. If you haven't, then I invite you. There's gonna be a link somewhere, um, uh, somewhere here, up left, right, I'm not sure where. And uh, in also in the description box, uh, there will be a link for part one of this video. And if you want to uh, find out uh, how I created them and what I used and everything, then please watch um, part one. Now I would like to invite you in part two to make with me the smaller card and this tag. But please don't forget to check part one where I created with you this larger tag, I mean this larger card. Uh, I already showed uh, all the cards in part one. Uh, for all of you that haven't seen uh, part one of the tutorial, I would like to uh, go through uh, these cards again. So in part uh, one, we made this uh, a larger card and this is how the card looks. So here on the top is 3D frame. I hope you can see. And then in the frame is this beautiful card with a quote. And then down here and up here are two chipboard embellishments. And let me show you the inside of the card. So down here you have one hard, a larger card that is stuck behind the smaller uh, image. And this card is used for like uh, birthday wishes you can write. And here on the top is like a card with like life. I, 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 what about what I like about this Graphic 45 cards is they have very beautiful like live quotes and you don't usually when I write cards I always put some uh, quote in the card not just uh, well wishes so these cards are perfect and you don't have to write anything just to, uh, adhere the ephemera card into your card and that's it and then you're done and also uh, okay now let's go here on the back and so on the back is just this paper okay so this is for part one and then in part two of the video we will be making uh, this smaller card and here on the top uh, this flap is also 3d I don't know if you can see and then this like it makes your card really sturdy and it looks so much more beautiful than just regular cardstock and then here on the top is like larger card and in the middle of the card is this chipboard embellishment and embellishment is also like you can see like 3d and here on at the bottom and on the top they're like round rhinestones or no actually these are pearls from also from graphic 45 and then you when you open the card you have here like I cut out these two borders from cards and then here you have a card to write well wishes and here I left empty. So you will be also left with some smaller cards with a quote so you can put that smaller card up here if you want to or if you want to uh, write something yourself you just put you just place white paper and then just write something uh, with your handwriting. So this is um, small oh and here on the back I forgot and on the back you have like two papers and then this smaller image is also you can write like uh, to and from who this card is and who the recipient is so you can write to and from okay this is card for the second for the part two of the tutorial and then also this tag is for is included in part two of the tutorial and this tag you can see it's not just cardstock it's very sturdy it's made out of chipboard and and look at this tag it really looks much more prettier than just tag made on a regular cardstock okay and let me go through um let me show you the tag here on the top you can see uh, this butterfly from a uh, chipboard sheet and then there are here like um, these three pearls they uh, make really beautiful body of the uh, butterfly and here I wanted to achieve this look of the butterfly wings I mean this edge that uh, makes like butterfly wings Okay, and then also this butterfly is attached onto another uh, 3D 
um, chipboard. And then here is also chipboard and this is chipboard piece. And then this piece is also adhered onto a chipboard. And this tag can be used for writing who the tag is from and to and who the recipient is. So actually the same as on this uh, now on this larger card, you can write to and from. And then here on the back, so I also added something on the back of the card that it's not empty. And on the back of the card, I mean of the tag, you can write your well wishes or whatever you want to write. So now I invite you to make these two projects in this part of the video. And I hope you will enjoy making these two things. I mean, these two projects. Now it's time to start working on greeting card number two. And first you will create a base. And this base is 10 and a half inches by six inches. And then make a score line on 10 and a half inch side. Make a score line at six inch and then fold on score line. And by folding this flap, you created this top part of the card, which is which should be four and a half inches. And first thing, what we will do is embellish top of the card. And first you will need to cut these two pieces of chipboard and they are four and a half inches by six inches and this chipboard is one millimeter thick so it's a thin yeah thick so this is very thin chipboard so you need two two pieces for more 3d look and then on one side of one chipboard piece apply tape around the edges So you will remove tape backing and adhere both pieces of chipboard together. And when you, when uh, these pieces are uh, glued together, then do the same as you did for your frame here on this card just use this tape and tape around the edges because you know you, we don't like i mean we don't i don't like this rough edges of chipboard to show on my project so i usually cover them or i cover the whole chipboard piece or i cover just uh, the edges but if you think it's too it's too much time consuming to do this kind of things then you can just take your black black ink pad i'm sure you have um black ink pad somewhere around and you can just add i mean you can just ink edges um with black ink of course but if you want to have more beautiful looking cards then i suggest to cover um, the edges so i'm gonna do that right now and i will be back next step you need to do is cut a piece of black card stock at four and a half by six inches and cover the top of your chipboard and then cut two pieces of this uh, red paper at half, uh, one quarter of an inch by six and seven eighths of an inch and then also cut this card i mean take this card and cut it down to three and three quarters of an inch by six and seven eighths of an inch and then you will place this red papers on each side of your chipboard piece and then this tag will go between both papers. So let's go and glue this down. I will apply score tape to the back of all these pieces. You can use glue, but I recommend to use like some dry, dry adhesive like tape.
and then apply score tape to the back of your chipboard and take your base and you will adhere this to your base uh, you, you could have done this thing without without chipboard uh, you could have uh, only um, instead of putting all these things on chipboard you could do all every you could do uh, the same thing just here on the flap but I like 3d looking cards so that's why I I chose to do it on chipboard and then place the chipboard on top of my card now start peeling your tape backing off and make sure to line uh, the edges of your chipboard with edges of your uh, top of the cardstock, I mean of the um, card. I think looks so pretty and it's also so sturdy that's that's what I like about um, putting chipboard on uh, cards then it makes really really sturdier cards and you will embellish the top of this card with this chipboard piece a little bit later but first we will mat the inside and now first take uh, one of these cards and you will uh, cut of this image so first size the card in length so it needs to be five and seven eighths of an inch and make sure uh, you just cut on each uh, on top and bottom uh, side of your card it's like less than one sixteenth of an inch just to get rid of this uh, rounded corner so just make uh, okay I'm, I'm gonna do it here with you um less than one quarter of an inch i mean less than one sixteenth of an inch and then now when you cut it off on one side so now you can go and measure five and seven eighths of an inch and cut away the other side this is the bottom of the card and now when the bottom is cut you will you will need to cut away only this uh, pattern here only this stripe with fruit okay but before we do the, before we cut away this part then just take this piece of paper here so if you made uh, the album earlier then you know you are left with this part of your uh, paper i cut away all the other embellishments I mean tags and other borders and now you will need to cut away these two borders and make sure they are one quarter of an inch wide and take your mat cutting mat ruler and craft knife and you will cut away um, both of those borders okay here is one border and now you need to cut the other one and here you have both borders now take again uh, this card so now cut from left edge one and one eighth of an inch and then make sure the, the length is five and seven eighths of an inch so the whole border should be one and one eighth of an inch by five and seven eighths of an inch and you will adhere this border to the left side of your page and then this border will go you need to cut it at five and seven eighths of an inch Okay, and this paper just cut just uh, 
at here 1 16th of an inch from this border with, I mean with this border with fruits and then this is how it's gonna look when closed so now let's go and adhere them down The last two pieces for this larger part of the inside of the card uh, are these two pieces. So cut this red paper at half an inch by five and seven eighths of an inch and cut this tag at three and thirteen sixteenths of an inch by five and seven eighths of an inch. And this is how you will arrange them. Now let's go and glue them down. For smaller part of the uh, card, for this smaller flap, actually for the inside, you will need three pieces. So cut this border from uh, the, the same tag as you did this one and cut it down to one and one eighth of an inch by five and seven eighths of an inch and place it here on, on the, to the right side of the flap and then take this border and cut it down to one quarter by five and seven eighths of an inch and then another paper red paper the same as on this side cut down to two and seven eighths of an inch by five and seven eighths of an inch And all that is left to mat is the back of the card. And for the back of your card, you will cut this red paper at two and one eighths of a uh, two and one eighth of an inch, actually two and three sixteenths of an inch by five and seven eighths of an inch. And this paper you need to cut at three and five eighths of an inch by five and seven eighths of an inch. And this is how uh, they should be um, on the paper on the cardstock. And now cut this image from 8x8 paper and adhere uh, this on top of cardstock and make sure 
you leave around 1 16th of an inch border around the image. Okay, now turn this over and apply score tape to the back of the tag. And now center uh, this image to middle part of your mat, I mean of your uh, cart and like around maybe three eighths of an inch from right edge. Now turn your card over and embellish the front cover with this chipboard embellishment. So how you will do it? Apply score tape to the back of um, this frame and then center your frame just above this uh, saying for address only. and then glue this down and then take this uh, other piece that is center of the frame and then take two pieces of chipboard and glue them together i already uh, I've, I've already done that and apply score tape to both sides of the chipboard piece and then uh, remove tape backing from one piece and then just glue it on top of uh, this chipboard and then remove other tape backing and center this piece here uh, in the middle of the frame. And the reason you applied um, chipboard piece uh, is because I, uh, I wanted to achieve like raised image of this um, center of the frame. And now there you go. And then you can just, if you want to, um, it's optional, you can take this I think I will take gold rhinestones and then you can just adhere them here on top. And then here on the uh, here on the left side on the top and here on the right side at the bottom. No, actually I need one large uh, one large and then this one here, the middle one, and then the small one. And do the same here on the right side, but just at the bottom. Okay, so your card is finished. And now let's go and start making a tag. You will build tag on a piece of chipboard so cut two pieces of chipboard uh, this chipboard is one millimeter thick and at three and a half by seven inches and then apply score tape to one uh, chipboard piece and then glue them together I mean, adhere them together. And then you will repeat the step from um, before when you created both tags, I mean, both cards. Take this tape and tape all these edges. I, I mean, and, and tape around the edges. If you don't want to do that, you can always use black ink pad and just ink edges with black color oh, in this project you need like ink uh, in black color if you want to use uh, ink okay and next okay let's do that and then i will be back okay then take a piece of black cardstock and cut it the same size as your tag at three and a half by seven inches and put this tag aside and then take two pieces of chipboard again and cut these pieces at three and a half by one and five eighths of an inch and 
you will adhere these two pieces together. I will use double sided tape for adhering them. And using this black tape, cover edges with the tape or if you don't uh, want uh, use it black tape then just uh, ink edges with black ink so now I'm gonna cover edges and then I will come back uh, then cut piece of cardstock at the same size as your chipboard piece and then adhere it onto chipboard and cut this piece of paper at three and three eighths of an inch yeah by one and a half and then adhere this paper onto onto this piece of chipboard i applied score tape to the back of this uh, paper and i'm just gonna peel this off and then center it onto the paper make sure you leave like around one sixteenth of an inch border around the paper Oh, and then also you will need to cut this uh, red paper at three and three eighths of an inch by quarter of an inch. I applied score tape to the back of this paper and you will line the paper with bottom edge of this paper here. I also applied score tape to the back of this small chipboard piece and now take your tag and remove tape backing and line top edges of both pieces and adhere this uh, piece down. So I created uh, this 3D piece also because I wanted to you will see why because I wanted to um, bring this butterfly to life and you will adhere this butterfly here on top of this tag so uh, the tag I mean the, uh, the top edge of the tag will, be, will have like this shape of butterfly and what you will do next is apply glue uh, to the back actually to the bottom to the bottom section of your butterfly and for this step you can use liquid glue or score tape i decided to use this strong liquid glue and when you glue this down just make sure that wings will be uh, at each corner and then push butterfly uh, to the top until your top edge is not visible anymore so see the edge is not visible and then you have your wings then half of the wings are on on a tag and half of the wings are picking off the um, of, of the tag so this is how it looks from the outside I mean from the other side and here it is and later we will embellish the uh, butterfly a little bit more but first let's decorate uh, the tag and then we are going to the uh, we are going to embellish it later uh, so next uh, we will cut uh, these two pieces of paper at three and three eighths of an inch by half an inch and then one paper you will line with the edge of this smaller a piece attached up here and then you will also need uh, one this piece of paper at and cut it at three and three eighths of an inch by quarter of an inch and then you will take this card I already uh, cut it out so what you will do from right edge you will measure three and three eighths of an inch and then you will cut 
uh, the, this part of the card and then you will cut the card at so this card is then three and three eighths of an inch by three and seven eighths of an inch and then of course you will cut just a little bit on top and bottom edge just to make this uh, corner straight because you don't want uh, rounded corners so just a little bit uh, like maybe not even one sixteenth of an inch half of that just to make uh, them uh, just to make them uh, straight and then this card will go right here and then this paper will go then down here below the card and then this red paper will go right here so now let's go and mat all of these papers Now cut two pieces of chipboard at three by two and one quarter of an inch and then apply score tape, I mean tape to one piece and then adhere both of them together. And next what you will do is again you will uh, tape edges with black tape. Okay, so now um, tape edges and then I will be back. Okay, so when you took care of your edges, then um, cut black cardstock at the same size as your piece of chipboard and adhere it, of course, onto chipboard. And then take this embellishment um, from chipboard sheet and I also, I already applied score tape on, on the back, but don't apply score tape uh, to this uh, curve here. I mean to this... Um, edge and how you will um, adhere this tag onto a piece of chipboard do you see here there are like corners on each side just center I mean just line cor corners with left edge of the piece and then adhere your chipboard down so now you will attach this piece here on your tag and right edge should be one quarter of an inch I mean right edge of your smaller piece should be uh, one quarter of an inch out of the uh, right edge of your tag and also centered five sixteenth of an inch from bottom edge of this red pattern paper and then you just adhere the piece down on the back of this smaller piece i applied score tape but don't apply score tape to a one quarter inch area on the on the back of your right side of the piece it's right here so here see there is no score tape and then just remove the uh, tape backing and like i said uh, one quarter of an inch uh, out of the uh, right edge of the tag and five sixteenths of an inch from bottom edge of this pattern paper and then take two gold pearls uh, those uh, middle sizes and apply glue 
I mean they're a self adhesive but for better stick apply glue on the back of each pearl and then center them here on each corner and then take also one pearl and center the pearl here where butterfly's head is and then take two smaller smaller pearls and then just adhere them down here or maybe two or three maybe three no two is fine just take two And then also take this chipboard piece from uh, from a chipboard sheet and apply some glue on the back and then just center here in the middle of this uh, red pattern paper. Let's not forget to embellish the back of the tag. Before you will mat the back uh, cut a piece of uh, cardstock at 3 and 3 eighths of an inch by 6 and 7 eighths of an inch and then adhere this cardstock to the chipboard. So for matting the back I cut two pieces of this paper at 3 and 3 eighths of an inch by half an inch and each of these papers will be placed one on the top and the other one um, at the bottom of the tag and then let's not forget about um, space for journaling so I cut this tag at three and three eighths of an inch by five and three quarters of an inch and then place this tag here between uh, both papers and of course, if you give it, uh, you, probably you are gonna give a tag with your, the present to someone, and if you want um, your tag to have some spe well, special place for uh, journaling, then you can do it here on the back. The front of the tag can be embellished, and the back of the tag, I, I mean, and the back of the tag can uh, have this uh, tag with lines that you can write a quote or something for journaling. So line this paper with the edge of cardstock. Okay, so your tag is finished and I hope you enjoyed making all these three projects. Thank you for watching.